Hey, hi, hello everyone, what's going on? I'm your girl Katrina and I'm back with another video. This time I'm gonna be showing you how easy it is to make some of the hottest selling t-shirt designs and we're using none other than Kittle. Now you guys know I love Kittle. I've brought a few videos to you in the past. I've explained how it all works. If you haven't heard of Kittle yet, if you don't know what it is, I'll have the introductory video linked down below in the description box so that way you can check that out. But I'm here to let you guys know that Kittle is an all-in-one stop shop where you can create, design, upload, download. You can use it for t-shirt designs, you can use it for business designs, reels, TikTok, storyboards, so much more. Possibilities are endless and they even have Kittle Print now where you can do print on demand. There's AI features and as a bonus you can even refer the site to your friends so that way you can earn some extra AI credits. But before we get into all of that, I'm gonna be showing you how easy it is to make the top trending t-shirt designs. So we all know Christmas is coming, it's fast approaching. All of us in the t-shirt business, the garment decorating, are preparing for the holiday season because it's pretty much the biggest time of the year where we make our biggest sales. Everyone wants those holiday designs, those matching Christmas sets and everything like that. So I'm gonna show you how you can make some of the best trending Christmas designs out there. So there's two that are really, really popular right now. Of course, of course it's the Christmas sweater and of course it's like the groovy wave text feature that's going on so you can incorporate that into your Christmas designs this year if you've never done the wave text if you've never done the groovy text Kittle makes it so easy because they have so many templates that's already there that all you have to do is just switch it out to make it your own. And of course, they have so many elements already on their platform that all you have to do is mix and match and plug in what you want and you can make your holiday sweater in no time. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Kittle is free to get started, but of course, the more you love it, the more you're going to want to do, then you might think about upgrading later. But again, all that information will be at the end of the video or later link down below in the description box. But first, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to design any t-shirt design using Kittle, but of course we're gonna do it Christmas style so that way you can start making some holiday money in no time. Let's go. So I'm just gonna open up their website. This is the Kittle homepage. You can literally do everything on this site from logos to t-shirts, Y2K, which is really popular, streetwear. You can create posters, cards, the list goes on and on. But we're gonna jump right into designing a t-shirt. There are so many different t-shirt designs that you can choose from and Kittle has so many pre-made templates. But we wanna pick some of the top trending ones, the ones that are gonna sell the most. And right now one of the best sellers are the wave text or the groovy text. So we wanna try to make a design for Christmas with the groovy text. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make. So I'm just gonna type in groovy text or groovy t-shirt and see what comes up. Okay, so I like this one, Jingle Bells. This is more of a groovy effect. Anything that has like the slants, anything that has like the bubble shaped letters, those are all your different type of groovy text. This Holly, Chris, this Holly Jolly Christmas, I really like this one, Enjoy Today, Enjoy Today. That one is nice. Um, this one, the autumn vibes and cozy. So you see how all of these wave and groovy texts are right now. This is trending. When I say trending, it's trending. So if you can create anything with this type of groovy text or wave text, you guys are golden. So let me go ahead and create a Christmas one. We can take any one of these and I like this one. So we're going to take this one and we're going to see what we can do. So I'm going to start with this template. You can take away any elements that you want. Right off the bat, I know Kittle has some texture in here. I know they have the different elements in here and you can change whatever you want. All right. So first we're going to start with the text and I'm just going to say merry and bright. So let's see. Merry. We're going to change this to bright. And then we're going to stick an end in here as well, like in the middle. Um, I like the, I don't know if I like the antler ears. Um, let's go into elements and let's see what we can do to change it. And we're just going to put in Christmas and see what comes up. All the different icons. So as you can see, they have some already. But because it's merry and bright, we want it to be more festive, right? Ooh, I like the candy cane. Let's see if we can use that. Let's take away the Santa. I'm not feeling this vintage Santa 
merry and bright let's take away the like racetrack icons what text is this this is the sunship text all right so we're going to add a text box in here and we're going to change that to the sunship going to enlarge that and we're going to change the color so you can come up here and change the text color and we're going to go with a nice gold and as you can see this has an offset so we're going to go with an offset on this one as well block shadow we're going to add a color merry and bright or should i just do the and symbol let's see how it looks with the and symbol okay kind of like that better let's try to get it in a position where okay merry and bright all right all right i like that let's take away the bells let's see let's go back to elements let's see what this looks like at the top instead uh, I want to kind of like this better than this even though this brings in color let's see how this looks I kind of like put it this way yeah so I think I am gonna leave the antlers the antlers are nice give it a nice touch so I added two more ornament balls to add to it so now let's see what else we can do so you see how easy that was like literally here I want to see if I can do like a plaid effect so I'm gonna go back to my effects and I'm gonna make it like that I'm gonna change the color we're gonna do red the weight and then the distance so I like it like that make it a little darker so I like that a lot better so that way you can kind of get a more Christmassy effect because it's plaid this one I'm gonna leave just like that I don't think I'm gonna change this one but look how I came in here just took it changed it and made it my own or should we get a reindeer to put down at the bottom since it's a reindeer so let's put a reindeer because we don't want like two different themes right Christmas reindeer okay yeah let's see we got the let's take this off and let's put in the teddy bear one that looks nice so you can do whatever you want change up the elements merry and bright or you can even put the sleigh the reindeer looks better just giving you some ideas that you can do if you wanted to add just the sleigh can add the sleigh at the bottom add the sack of toys I'm trying to find something that's going to be the perfect perfect mix so you can even pull in your own images if you don't like something on here you can definitely find your own um, clip art and you can pull it in yourself but I'm gonna go with the original reindeer that I had because I like the little teddy bear feel so I'm gonna leave that just like that so I went and resaved my name. I changed it from the Jingle Bells to Merry and Bright. And I'm just, for the final touch, I'm just going to move this ball because it's a little bit of space right there. I want it to be kind of more proportioned. And now I am finished. Merry and Bright. All you got to do is save it. All you have to do is download it and use it for however you want. So we know Christmas is fast approaching. It's coming up. That's pretty much the number one top selling holiday for t-shirts. So let's go ahead and look at some Christmas designs, Christmas templates that they have. It's loading. And Kittle has a lot of different Christmas designs to start with. And as you can see, like the number one thing that's popping out is the ugly Christmas, you know, and the number one thing that's popping out that's look and the number one thing that pops up is pretty much like the ugly Christmas sweater template. That is the number one top selling design. So we're going to make an ugly Christmas sweater today. And I'm going to see which template I want to go with. There's so many to choose from, but I kind of like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. But just before I select that one, it's either between that one or... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. So let's see how we can make this our own. I'm just going to go ahead and click use the design. And now... 
you can take out and you can change any type of element. It's on a red background, which we're going to leave just in case if the sweater is red, but it doesn't matter what color. I am going to try to make this a little bit more uglier. I kind of want it to be really ugly, guys. I'm just putting in some some things, some ideas. Okay, I kind of like that one better. Or do I like this one? It's supposed to be ugly, right? So this one looks more like vintage. You can also generate your own reindeer. So I'm gonna do an image generator and I'm gonna pick the style that I want. <laughs> Let's go with detailed drawing and I'm going to put ugly sweater with red nose. Okay, let's see what that comes up. We're going to generate something. Sometimes you don't always get it right the first time. You have to learn. You have to play with it. You have to give it a few tries just in case if whatever you don't put in the first time comes out exactly the way you want it. So you do have to use a lot of different specific words. Now, this put my reindeer in a sweater, guys. This put my reindeer in a sweater. Um, so it was for an ugly sweater. I didn't want it to be... <laughs> I didn't want the reindeer to be in a sweater. So... You can remove the background. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, we're going to try it one more time and I'm going to take off the ugly sweater part. Brown reindeer with red nose for Christmas sleigh. Let's just see what it generates. I'm going to go ahead and remove this other reindeer. Okay, so I like this better, but of course, it is not ugly. It's definitely not ugly, but I like it better. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the background. Okay, and I'm going to delete that reindeer. So now I'm going to go back to the sleigh, to the different sleighs, because I need to pick something that's going to match with that so now it's time to bring this design to life and finish it off so i added in my santa sleigh and then i kept the font the same but i changed it to say riding in a one horse open sleigh i added in some gift presents and i love the fact that these elements look like the sweater stitching so that works out perfectly i added in some christmas trees at the bottom for a nice border you can add in whatever elements you want i wanted to make it even uglier so i minimized some of the elements i added in the presents the reef and the santa face and spread it all out so that way it can be for my background because can't leave it plain. I removed the snowflakes and I added in some Christmas chimneys for my top border. All right, let's see how it looks with this one. So I'm going to add this one in. I'm going to double it. I'm trying to get them to be the exact same size. So I'm just going to delete one and copy it. When in doubt, just copy. All right, and there we go. My ugly Christmas sweater, guys. Now, I know I use full images. I didn't use the sweater images, but I like the way this looks. So you can do whatever you want. Possibilities are endless. You can come in here and create your own Christmas sweater design. So I saw a string of Christmas lights that I like better, so I removed the chimneys and I added these for a final touch. Perfect. Now it fits in. I like that much better as opposed to the chimneys. So there you have it. Ugly Christmas sweater, guys. And if you want it to take out this reindeer that I use, of course, you can use any other reindeer as well. Okay, there's so many different ways you can mix and mingle this and I'm already seeing so many different ideas and so many different things that I could do. But this is how you would come in here and you can make your own Christmas sweater change out the words change out the elements change out the pictures colors do whatever you want let's see how this would look on um on a black background because oh that looks really nice on the black i love the way that looks on the black yeah ugly christmas sweaters popping and if you want you can really set this off 
I would change this to match the gold. Look at that. That looks nice. That really look, looks nice now. All right, so we're gonna offset this. Mm. I'm loving this Christmas sweater that I literally just made within minutes on Kittle. So of course I'm gonna save this because I'm gonna use this for real. And then I'm gonna actually try to make some other ones as well. So that way I can add these to my shop and sell them. So all you would do is come in here and export it. Um, you can download the design and you can save it as a PNG JPEG. You can save it as a PNG, like you can use it for sublimation. You can save it as an SVG, but I would definitely save it as a PNG because I'm going to use it as either transfer or sublimation. Because it has so many different colors, there's no way I'm going to be layering that. So I'm going to save it as a PNG. You want to click remove background and there you have it. So if you don't want to go through all that and you want to do something a little bit more simpler, you can take one of their pre-made templates and all you have to do is just change out the wording, change out the colors, and you can have a groovy wave text just like this. Just turn it into a Christmas theme. So now that I've showed you how easy it is to use Kittle and how fast you can make t-shirt designs, listen, there's so much more that I haven't even touched on. Like I said, I have previous videos on Kittle, so you might want to check those out. Or you can actually go to their Kittle YouTube channel because they have tons and tons of tutorials. But first, I'm going to show you about their subscription plans just in case if you're thinking about joining Kittle today. So again, Kittle is free to get started, but of course, the more things that you'll want to use on the site, the price will go up. So let's take a closer look at the price plan. So here are the Kittle pricing plans. You can start and try it for free as you can see, but you only get 15 credits, which is one single usage for the Kittle AI. You get to work on up to 20 projects. You only have about 50 megabytes of upload space. It's a low res export and there's no commercial license, no commercial license with the free plan. But if you upgrade to the pro plan, it's only $15 a month. You get 100 credits a month for the Kittle AI. You get to work on up to 100 projects and you get one gigabyte of upload space. You get unlimited vector exports, all premium templates and full commercial license full commercial license for everything that you create and download within Kittle. Now, of course, you can even upgrade to the higher plans, the expert or the business, but I wanna point out one key feature. This is the monthly plan if you're billing and paying monthly. But if you click this icon and you go over to the tab where it says bill yearly, if you pay all up at once, if you look at the prices, it drops. You get to save a lot more. So I always advise that you pay up front if you can, if it's within your budget, so that way you can save even more. So the pro plan, goes down to ten dollars a month and you get all of this so these are your pricing plans to start with Kittle about so now I talked about those AI credits and I'm gonna show you how you can earn even more if you're already a member or if you're thinking about joining so I talked about those AI credits which are very key which are very valuable to help you start creating more so if you're already a member or if you're thinking about joining you can refer your friends and family or recommend it on social media post and share your link and you can start referring friends and everyone who signs up under your link, you can start earning extra credits. So there are many great rewards. As you can see here, they have a list of all the different things that you can do to earn extra credits, or you can invite your friends and get 3000 worth of free Kittle AI credits. So you'll get 100 credits every time a friend uses your link and they'll get 25 credits as well. It's a win-win. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. So if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that way you're not missing out on any of my future tutorials or all the other content that I have. As always, thank you so much for watching. Now go ahead and get those holiday shirts out before it's too late and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.